How long do I come? From London. The 100 Queen's Gate Hotel London is one of several Courier Collection hotels in the city. Originally built in 1870 for an aristocrat, the building has a long history. It became a private hotel in 1908, was used as a hospital during the 1960s and became the Regency Hotel in 1974. It was completely renovated in 2013 and became part of the Hilton Group in 2015. Formerly known as the Doubletree by Hilton London Kensington, the hotel was renamed and rebranded in March 2019, becoming what you see today. It has a beautiful and modern lobby area, which gives a nice flair when entering the hotel. We've been here around about one week after the lockdown in July 2020 was lifted, so not all services were available to 100% unfortunately. Also not all of the 228 rooms were accessible, so the available rooms were quite limited. The app showed the evening before an upgrade to a Queen's Gate Luxury Queen room. Unfortunately I didn't complete the check-in process and when I checked shortly before arrival the next day, they downgraded us to the category in between, the Queen's Gate Deluxe Queen room. When asking the front desk employee about the downgrade, he replied that somebody else checked in in between, so all rooms in the higher category are occupied now. Okay, it is still an upgrade and there is no complaint about that. Anyway, it seems highly unprofessional to grant an upgrade and reduce it afterwards. Additionally, the employee's reply was somehow like, well, better luck next time, which is highly impolite and not what I expect from a British gentleman in a five-star hotel. As you can see on the floor plan, only on this floor there are numerous rooms that differ in size and shape. Let's have a look into the bathroom, which is absolutely modern and stylish. A cool feature is the shower head with a hole in its center. Finally, Special branded shampoo and shower gel are also to be found here, which is usual for Courier Collection hotels. Let's move on to the main room. Here you find a coffee machine and the usual furniture of a typical room. A working desk, a TV on the wall, a seating area, which is here a sofa, and the bed of course. To emphasize the age of the hotel and its long history, some objects are kept in a retro style, such as the telephone, which looks as if it came from the last century. Before we come to the conclusion, we'll have a short look on the food served in the restaurant. The bar in the basement was closed at that time, unfortunately, by the way. We don't say that often, but the dinner was a full disappointment. The burger was absolutely boring and consisted only of bread, meat, one slice of tomato and one salad leaf. The fish had an okay taste, but was eaten with two bites. For the price, which was even higher than the day before in the Conrad St. James, an absolute cheek. Breakfast was quite okay, however. Let's come to the conclusion. For the 100 Queen's Gate Hotel London, we award 3.5 out of 5 diamonds. Snooty, expensive and serve rather average food. We'll come back when they rebrand next time and change their management. See you out there. You're Alex from Gaia Dreams.